allow me to tell you a story. This is the story of how I got into Star Wars for the first time, and it's a story that many of you might identify with. Some of you might have uh, discovered Star Wars under the same circumstances, and this is a good way to kind of get back into the YouTube posting phase. Um, hi, everybody. Mesa Windy here. Hope you guys are enjoying um, this video, uh, and if you do enjoy, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. I promise I will be go back to making... Um, uh, steady uh, content uh, just fell off the wayside over the past couple of weeks and months uh, but I was on a roll all of you know that I was on a roll but I thought uh, this would be a good way to kind of get back in the groove of posting again um, and it would just to tell you guys the story of how I got into Star Wars for the first time so like a little bit of mace lore if you will so um, it all started back when I was I think seven or eight years old um, hometown I uh, wasn't a big fan of books, even though, like, I did like the concept of books, but, like, I, I wasn't a fan of reading them. I always wanted to, like, skip to the interesting parts to see if something crazy happened or something like that. I kinda, I'm kind of like that when I watch TV now. I'm like, oh, this is kind of not piquing my interest, so is anything happened midway through, like, whatever. Uh, so my mom, who uh, is, uh, the like, like the most important woman currently in my, in my life right now, um, she wanted what was best for me and I will always appreciate it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, she wanted me to be smart. So she was like, you need to go to the library more often. And I was like, naturally library is associated with books. And I'm like, I don't want to go to the library. I don't, it's boring. And she was like, did you know they have movies? And I was like, really interesting. This changes things, you know, eight year old Josh. So she took me to the local library. And by the way, uh, check out books from your local library. Libraries are the most uh, one of the most important building blocks to raising a child and making them smart one day. So obviously advocate for them as often as you can. It's very important. This is a this is a product placement for public libraries as well. So continuing. Um, so she took me to the uh, um, the local library, and you know, I actually, to my credit, I actually started looking around for books. I actually started looking around for books a little bit, and she was like, oh, "We brought you here for the movies, like." she was she pretty her thought process was like anything to get him in the damn library just so he can like be near books like that'll help me sleep at night and fair enough especially this day and age where it's hard to get somebody to sit down and read a book um books can help you grow exponentially this is a product placement for public libraries anyway uh, i went to the movie section and none of the movies were current this was like what 2005 none of the movies were current um and I looked around, looked around, looked around, and I I saw a lot of 1970s movies. I saw The Godfather there. I think I did. Uh, I remember seeing Star Trek, which never really interested me as a kid, um, even though I enjoy it now, like not as a mega fan, but as like a, an enjoyer of it. Um, and something caught my eye because I had seen, I had played a little bit of Lego Star Wars and I knew of it, but I never really watched it. I didn't know, I know Dark Vader. I knew like, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo. I knew the concept of these characters, but I was never into the whole like Star Wars thing. So I was like, oh, Star Wars. And by that point, I realized my mother had tricked me. And I was like, oh, you said there was going to be like cool stuff here. And I don't see anything cool here. And so she was like, check out the damn book. And so we can go. And I was like, all right, fine. So I picked Star Wars. We went back to our little apartment at the time. I watched that movie, A New Hope, by the way. This was A New Hope in a VHS, and I wish I, I plan on going back to that library one day just to see if they still have it, and if they still have it, I would be perfectly willing to buy it from them, but anyway, um, even if it's like up jump in cost, like if it's like $300, I'd be like, okay, you wait here, I'd be willing to, just, just from the sheer significance of that being the item that got me into the franchise, but anyway, I watched A New Hope, and the rest is history, no, yeah, like seriously, I watched that movie, I wore out that VHS. I, I, I rented it out the full duration. I forgot how long they let me keep it. Um, but I always rechecked it out, essentially. Um, I renewed library cards just to get that movie again. Because, you know, we didn't have a lot of cash back then. And so, like, you kind of took what you can get. And, like, it was hard to kind of just ask your parents for this movie. And, and eventually, when I got the movie myself, like, my mom got it for me for Christmas. She, she got me the whole trilogy. And then she got me the whole saga. Um, uh one through six so to speak but um i'll never forget when i got through watching a new hope for the first time and i was absolutely floored i was like bro this is amazing i didn't even really know why i liked it because you know as a kid you don't really question why you enjoy it so much you just know that you enjoy it 
Um, it went from that to picking up sticks that you see in the backyard and doing like the and like you know when you're a kid your imagination goes wild so you really truly believe that you are there when you're imagining what's going on and then it became legos then at lego star wars and went back and played lego star wars again just so i could like you know uh play the game and like every time since i had watched all of the movies by the time i got lego star wars again but uh since i had watched all the movies every single moment in the lego star wars game i was like ooh, 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 like that happened in the movie and I fell in love with the franchise, uh, and that was, like, truly one of the most special periods of time because I finally had something that I was super, super into. This predated Transformers. This predated um, Nickelodeon. This predated SpongeBob. Like, I, I watched SpongeBob, but I was never, like, a super mega big fan. Um, this predated all of the other stuff that I would eventually go on to love, too. Now, Star Wars had waxed and waned over the years, like there was that massive awakening and then it kind of fell by the wayside when like the Transformers movies started coming out and I was like, Oh, Transformers, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime. I think I called him Optimus Prime. You know, as a kid, you don't know what you're saying, but um, Transformers was a big, big thing for me for a couple of years. Then it was, um, I think it was, uh, what was another one? Hot Wheels was a good era for me. Uh, Legos in general was a pretty big era for me. Star Wars was always there, but it was never like, it wasn't always like the number one thing. And it wasn't until uh, uh, 2014 when they announced, or it wasn't really until Disney had bought Star Wars in 2012 that it kind of got me more interested in it again. And it wasn't until the teaser came out for The Force Awakens in I think 2014, November of 2014, um, that it reawakened. Um, I, I'll never forget when it came out because, you know, back in like 2014, I wasn't really paying attention to like news, like media news and stuff. So I kept hearing I heard at school, I think, or something like that. They were like, yo, like the first teaser for The Force Awakens came out. And I was like, really? So I went home and I was like, there was no way for me to watch it at the time. My phone had died. And um, uh, I went to go check it out and I saw that it was being advertised on my Xbox 360. Um, and so. I I download because you could you can download trailers like off of like the Xbox system. So I downloaded the trailer and I watched it. It's still on my 360, by the way. Like I still know the exact date I downloaded. It was like the day I down. I, I I might actually boot it up again just so I can see like the history of it. But I'll never forget like seeing Snoke, hearing Snoke talking, Finn John Boyega's character showing up. Daisy Ridley, who we didn't know any of their names. We saw Kylo Ren from the back. We saw um, Poe Dameron, Oscar Isaac, and then the band. And then Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And I was like, I need to buy everything Star Wars related. Like, those were the two awakenings of my Star Wars era. Like, when I was a kid, the library, and when I was like, like a grown up, like 18, 19. I was 17 at the time, actually. No, I was 17 when the trailer dropped. I was 18 when the movie came out, but I was 17 when the trailer dropped. I will never forget those big coming of age moments for me because that's that's special. Like, I will never forget. Like, that's how I knew that Star Wars was always going to be with me as long as I was alive because I'll never forget. I, I can't forget those experiences if I tried. They were such a massive part of my life. Like, I go back and think about those days and not only were things more simple back then, it wasn't as stressful back then because you were a kid or you were a young teenager. But like now I look back on them and I'm like, damn, that's where it all started, huh? There was the wake, the awakening and then the reawakening. And it's truly one of the most like nexus memories of my life that I will always remember. Even if I'm 50, 60 years old, I'm like, Oh yeah. I remember when I, they first came out with the star Wars Lego star Wars. It was one of the only games I ever 100% completed. I have so many hours in that game. I wish they had counted the hours on like PlayStation two. Um, and ever since then, the rest is history, man. And that's the origin story of, uh, Mesa windows, uh, star Wars life. That's kind of the short and sweet of it. I could probably go into it for like 45 minutes to an hour, and maybe I will go into more detail as the uh, as my uh, time as a content creator goes out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope this was something to help you unwind as you get ready for the week. I hope you guys continue to stay safe and love each other. This is Mesa Windu out, and remember, the Force will be with you always. And don't forget to subscribe.